Hello friends, organic pig farming is one of the most popular methods in the world. Many farming systems are improperly raised, causing serious diseases and losses of nearly 90% per farm. How to properly raise organic pig farms? And what is the process of producing bacon? Let's get to watch this whole entire video together. Organic pig farming has become popular in all countries around the world, from Europe, America, to Asia. At the beginning of animal husbandry research, there were serious mistakes that caused farm owners to suffer losses of up to billions of dollars. Livestock density is too large, causing serious disease spread. The farm environment is polluted. Waste around the farm is not treated, but is released into the environment. Picard breed needs to be an indigenous breed, able to adapt well to the natural environment. Breeding is most effective in spring and fall, when the weather is pleasant and favorable for pig growth. Some farmers and the farms also use a system of rows of trees and moving roofs, helping pigs avoid the wind and enjoy sunlight comfortably. The goal of raising free-range pigs in the field is not to use chemicals, antibiotics or growth hormones. Water troughs needs to be cleaned before providing drinking water to pigs to ensure that drinking water is clean and uncontaminated. According to the FAO statistics, there are about 100,000 organic pig farms in the world, with a total number of organic pigs of about 10 million. Leading countries in terms of number of organic pig farms include the United States, Germany, France, and Italy. According to statistics from the United States Organic Agriculture Association, the average price of an organic pork in the world is about $11.5 per pound, about 2.5 times higher than the conventional pork. Organic pigs are often consumed through organic food stores and high-end restaurants. Meat is often processed into different types of dishes to serve market needs. Bacon is a symbol of delicious and rich flavor. As a product made from pork, usually wrapped meat, through a special smoking process in a modern factory. The process begins by dividing the pork carcass into different parts, including rib meat, pork belly, shoulder meat, the thigh meat. This process requires significant skills in cutting and dividing each part of the carcass. Each rib part will be separated from the meat. Then the pork belly is selected to continue the bacon production process. Pork belly is harvested from the ribs and then spread on a conveyor belt to cut the meat evenly. The pig skin is separated from the pork belly, creating a preparation step 
for the smoking process. To ensure uniformity and softness, the pork belly is put through a stamping machine. Pork belly is washed with water to remove impurities and maintain its natural taste. After being prepared, pork belly is hung on moving carts and taken to the smoking room. Smoke rooms are heated with wood chips such as oak, mesquite, and hickory, creating delicious smoke. Pork is smoked for about 8 to 12 hours at an ideal temperature of 70 to 80 degrees Celsius. After completing the smoking process, the pork is cooled to maintain its flavor and deliciousness. Depending on the country, the meat smoking process takes different times. American style bacon, 8 to 12 hours with oak, mesquite or hickory in Germany, smoke for 12 to 24 hours with oak or mesquite wood, Korea smoke for six to eight hours with oak or pine wood. Finally, the bacon will be carefully cut, packaged, and delivered to consumers. According to the United States Association of Agriculture, in 2022, total global bacon production will reach about 2.5 million tons. Among them, the United States occupies the leading position with an output of about 1.5 million tons. Consumption of bacon is also high, with a total consumption of about 2.7 million tons. The United States is the world's largest consumer of bacon, with consumption of about 1.6 million tons. The process of producing bacon is not only a processing art, but also a delicate combination of tradition and modern technology, bringing quality and delicious baking products all the way to the consumer's mouth. Right now, let's continue watching how do farmers raise free-range pigs and how is ham being processed in modern factories. Deciding on the black pig breed to start a breeding project is an important part of ensuring your success. It is important that you choose a black pig breed that is sustainable and suitable for the specific climate and soil conditions of your locality. This will help ensure that the pigs will adapt well to the environment and achieve their best performance. Some popular options you should consider when learning about black pig breeds includes the Andalusian black pig, Daruk black pig, and Iberico black pig. Each breed has its own characteristics and learning carefully about each breed will help you make a smart choice. Iberico black pigs, a native black pig breed of Spain, are famous for their ability to accumulate good fat, creating a characteristic flavor for pork. If you are interested in unique and premium pork production, this breed may be the top choice.
Now let's see how this black pig breed is raised. The barn isn't only where acorn eating black pigs will live, but is also an important factor in their development and health. When building a barn, you need to carefully consider the location. Make sure it is placed in a high, dry location to avoid flooding during stormy weather. The barn also needs to be designed to have enough natural light and wind, creating a cool and reasonable environment for black pigs. Besides creating good living conditions, the main food of black pigs as eating acorn also plays an important role in the breeding process. Acorns are a source of food rich in nutrients, helping pegs grow healthily. However, to ensure nutritional balance, pigs also need to be provided with additional concentrates such as corn and rice barn. Dietary variety helps ensure that pigs receive the nutrients they need to grow and maintain good health. The number of pigs and output on the farm will depend on the scale and method of farming. Typically, an acorn eating black pig farm has a scale of several hundred to several thousand pigs. A black pig eating acorns can reach a weight of about 100 to 120 kilograms. According to reporters from the Spanish Ham Association in 2019, Spain produced about 2.3 million Ibérico hams. However, in 2020, due to the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic and social distancing measures, production output decreased significantly. After being thoroughly prepared, removing the skin and removing the outer layer of fat, the pork leg will be chilled overnight to firm up the meat. Then, the Iberico Belota pork leg is marinated with Mediterranean sea salt. This salting process helps prevent the growth of harmful microorganisms on thigh meat. Normally, the thighs will be soaked in salt for two days. After salting the pork leg, it'll be washed but into the incubation room and hung to dry. Here, the thighs are controlled for quality and parameters, such as temperature, and humidity. To be able to meet the transition in high meat, this process takes 60 to 100 days. After finishing the artificial drying process, the thighs will be brought into the room to dry naturally by allowing natural air into the room. Staff will control the airflow into the room by opening and closing windows to allow air to circulate evenly with their thighs. This helps the thighs to produce fungi 
that help metabolize the thighs and the next stage. Before moving on to the next step, the thighs are cleaned with sunflower oil and then put into the main stew. This process can take up to 8 months. Iberico ham processing plants in Spain are often concentrated in areas with the tradition of Iberico pig farming and meat processing, such as Extremadura, Salamanca, and Andalusia. Iberico pig farms are typically distributed throughout southeastern Spain, including the provinces of Huelva, Cordoba, and Badajoz, and Seville. However, Iberico ham processing factories are usually not located on pig farms, but are often concentrated in industrial zones near Iberico pig production areas to facilitate transportation and meat processing. To ensure product quality, Iberico black pigs must be subjected to quality inspection and evaluation by Spanish government agencies before being allowed to produce products from Iberico black pigs. In addition to raising black pigs that eat acorns, an important part of the black pig industry in Spain is the export of specialty food products, such as salted pork thighs, According to statistics from the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United States FAO, and the European Free Trade Agency the EU, the countries that import the most Spanish salted pork thighs are usually Asian countries such as Japan, China and Korea. These countries appreciate the value and the quality of salted pork products from Spain. This isn't only a delicious dish, but also shows respect for the unique cuisine of Spain. In addition to Spain and Asian countries, there are many other countries around the world that import Spanish salted pork thighs, including the US, Canada, Australia, European countries and the Middle East region. There are all markets with developed culinary backgrounds and customers often set high prices for high-end food products such as Spanish salted pork thighs. Thanks to the meticulous care and raising of black pigs, as well as the traditional production process, Spain has earned a global reputation for cured hams and related food products. The development of this industry not only contributes to the national economy, but also promotes Spanish culinary culture on the world map. In 2022, Australia's pig industry earned about 6 to 7 billion USD. Australia's total pork production will reach 1.5 million tons, of which the Queensland region accounts for more than 750,000 tons. Queensland is home to more than 50% of the country's total pig farming area and Australia's pork export market is mainly Asian markets. 
of which China being the largest import market. The heart of Australian pig farming is the presence of modern facilities that can create excellence. In these facilities, pigs enjoy spacious, well-ventilated housing, thoughtfully designed to not only prioritize comfort but also enhances production efficiency. The combination of modern infrastructure and advanced technology has proven pivotal in providing a nurturing environment for animals, culminating in the increased productivity that characterizes the livestock industry. The Australian pig industry's sustainable approach demonstrates a strong commitment to environmental protection and resource efficiency. One of the most prominent points in this strategy is the conversion of manure into biogas. This not only helps minimizing the negative impact on the environment by reducing waste, but also creates a clean energy source for this industry. Not only the manure from this process also becomes an extremely valuable resource in the field of farming. But the nutritional richness of this modified fertilizer helps improve soil quality and also reduces dependence on synthetic fertilizers. This drives modernization and innovation and resource management of the Australian pig industry. From reusing manure to using it to generate energy and supplement crop nutrients, these practices represent progress and innovation in the industry. In particular, they also clearly affirm the industry's leading position and promoting sustainable pig farming and environmental protection. Biosecurity takes center stage in Australian pig production, underscoring the industry's commitment to animal health and welfare. Strict measures have been taken to prevent the spread of disease in the pig herd. This includes a meticulously constructed system to control access to farms, strict cleaning and disinfection procedures and control of animal movement. To ensure biosecurity in Australia, farmers and pig breeders also strictly comply with quarantine regulations and ensure that pig herds are periodically health checked. These comprehensive measures have effectively protected Australian pigs, ensuring they remain healthy and free of disease risk. This not only ensures a safe and quality pork supply for consumers, but also demonstrates concern for animal welfare and protecting public health. Pork processing begins with the transport of pigs from the farm to the factory. And this is the end of a long and resistant journey from a farm to table. Pigs are carefully transported to the processing plant where handling is carefully received. This marks the beginning of a series of complex steps delicately designed to optimize performance and minimize waste. The first step in this process is biocontaminant, a paramount priority to ensure the safety of both animals and workers.
pigs, after being brought to the processing plant, will be put through the first processing stage. Here, science and art intersect to create an impressive process. Each pig is treated cleanly, each part of it is utilized optimally, official is carefully and efficiently removed to ensure the final quality of the meat product. But technology also plays an important role in making the process run more smoothly and effectively. Modern processing plants are equipped with advanced machinery such as bone removal, slicing and packaging. These machines not only enhance production efficiency but also ensure strict compliance with hygiene and food quality standards. Quality and safety control are critical to ensure that final pork product meets strict standards. At many stages of the processing phase, strict inspections are conducted to ensure that the meat meets strict quality and hygiene standards. Once the pork products have undergone through the processing phase, they are carefully packaged to maintain freshness and quality. Packaging not only ensures that the product reaches consumers with the same quality, but also preserves the best flavor of the meat. The distribution network ensures that pork products find their way to stores and restaurants across the country, ready to be enjoyed by excited consumers. Attention to detail extended to temperature control and hygiene measures, ensuring that meat products leave the plant at an optimal quality level and ensuring consumer safety. Pork processing in modern factory is a wonderful combination of art and science, from thorough process to the use of cutting-edge technology and commitment to environmental protection. This industry represents true perfection. The final pork product on our dinner table represents not only quality, but also the industry's mission when it comes to providing the most delicious and the safest sustainable food. In 2022, total pork production processed in the U.S. will reach 1.5 million tons, an impressive number that demonstrates the important role of the pork processing industry in providing pork products to the entire market, the domestic market and the international market. In particular, the export market for U.S. processed pork is mainly Asian markets with China being the largest import market. This demonstrates the ability of the U.S. pork processing industry to meet stringent international standards and serve the growing demand for high-quality pork products in the global marketplace. So how do you feel about this video? And do you think that in the future a lot of machines are going to replace more humans? And how can we face that problem in the future? Uh, please share your comments down below as this is uh, going to be very, very important to know pretty much from almost everyone so that we can hear more opinions and uh, get introduced to more solutions. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe for more videos like this.